just trust your gut. You know, if it doesn't seem right, it's probably not. So. Jenna Lupi and her family stopped at this gas station in Dutch Flat off I-80 on the way to pick out their Christmas tree. A man flagged them down looking for help. We thought he was maybe needing directions or he was lost because, you know, we're in the mountains. The man wasn't lost, telling Loopy's husband he needed gas and didn't have any cash. And he's got his whole family in the car. They're on vacation and he lost his debit card. Can we please pump him some gas? Loopy's husband was hesitant, but decided to help. As a thank you, the man gave them a gold ring. So he actually pulled a gold ring off his finger and said, I really don't want to do this, but have this ring. It's worth five. $500, please, I'm desperate. Can you pump us some gas? Jenna Lupi knew something wasn't right, so she brought the ring here to Loyalty Pond in Roseville to see what it was worth. What I always recommend to people is if it's too good to be true, it's probably true. The ring was fake. Just like the box full of fake gold jewelry the team at Loyalty Pond has collected, they've been seeing scams like this for about a year. It's a little bit of a heartbreaker, typically because the people that are coming in they're just trying to do someone a favor just out of the kindness of their heart, um, but then they just get burned. Ryan Hall, who knew right away the ring wasn't real, says don't be fooled by the quality stamp on the jewelry. Even that can be forged. People can buy stamps on Amazon and stamp whatever they want. He says if you think someone is trying to scam you, go to the nearest jeweler or pawn shop with the person and have the items checked out. Any pawn broker, any jewelry store owner, any gold buyer like that is going to be 100% honest because we're not going to want to buy fake jewelry. A warning Jenna Lupi wants others to hear. I just wanted to try to get the word out there so that it doesn't happen to others. You know, at least people are aware of it.